What's up? It's Bill Stunner 502 back with another one. And I just tried to record a video, and I accidentally hit the button where the phone closed. So, got to do it all over again. I said, we got the cutlass in the shop. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow, so the rest of the week going to be nasty, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, drive it for one day, get the, everything circulating again, like I said, before the video cut off. New, bit, new battery, new alternator, you strip the cap and rotor. Pretty much clean, I'm replacing this. Got the alarm on it. Here's the other batteries, I mean the other lights I'm trying to, I'm going to install today. Like I said, I was recording and the video stopped on me, but I took these bulbs out at the bottom, which I'm about to show you after I show you some more stuff I got done. Radiator flush, transmission goods, I'm getting a new one of these. New heater core, all this stuff before I started filming. The cutlass build, new windshield wipers. Uh, what else I got? New rotors on this thing. Uh, new brake pads. I'm going to get back there and paint all that. Paint the brake calipers red or whatever. But, uh, let me get up under here and show you what I was doing before the video cut off on me. So, I had took the old bumps out and replacing these right here. I don't know why they're different colors. But, yeah, you can see I got new sway bar inner and outer tie rod links right here. The part I'm going to show you in the back, I do have the sway, the new sway bar, but my mechanic didn't want to put it on. I got a small oil leak, but everything's solid under here, for real. I got new uh, links right there on the, uh, the sway bar link. Those are new. I'm going to actually show you. I have some more beefy ones that I didn't get put on. Uh... That's new over there. We got the light hanging right here. So what I need to do is put these back up here. Right here. So, like I said, one step at a time. Your, your build is your budget build. Only handle what you can handle. Alright, twist, I twisted that until it's locked in place. So. It's in there. Alright. So now. We on to this one. So now we got to put this one in. I don't know what this little piece is right here hanging. It's in the fucking way. We got to put this God damn. Excuse me, I just dropped the phone. But yeah. I'm gonna put this back in here. Yeah, like I said, I was recording. Actually, then they hit the close button. Everything pretty solid. Let's surface brush right there. But, like, I'm gonna undercoat all this. Got a little, rock, got a little oil leak. Everything solid on there. Taking it one piece at a time. Uh, I'm getting a new one of these. Alright, so we replaced those bulbs. Got new ones in. And I need to find out where these bulbs go right here. Which I'm not for sure. And like I said, this car, it, it, I think it's, it's like the guy told me I bought it from. It's been wrecked, but you can see in there. Where this needs to be fixed in the front. I have my tail light has this big, I mean my headlight has this big gap in it. And this is the wrong side marker as you can see all that right there. But not too much worried about that right now. Like this is the only bad part on the car. And this right here. But when we step back. Cause I have buffed this car plenty of times. It's been, it was so dull. I just put that shine on it. I'ma 
detailer. That's what I do for a living. So I did de uh, buff and wax this car plenty of times. I just shined the top. I got to do the wheels. I haven't cleaned the wheels yet, but I just used some spray wax. Oh, these books are free. All you have to do is go to their website and they will send you a free catalog. All G bodies. All G bodies. El Caminos, Mal Malibus, Monte Carlos, Grand Prix, Bonnevilles, Grand National, Regal T Type, and the Cutlass. Like I said, you might want to get you one of these books if you own a G body. They have tons and tons of parts. I'm talking about tons. Everything you almost you can think of for these G bodies is in this book. So make sure y'all check them out. Shout out to Summit Racer for getting me together with my tune up, even though they're not sponsoring me or nothing. But I rock with y'all. Uh, like I said, still had to get this bumper pulled out because my tips are uneven. I'm getting the uh, pipes redone. Uh, let me show y'all the inside for y'all new subscribers. It did have rust at the bottom like most of these do on this bottom but I'm getting that fixed this summer I got a guy that's gonna sand it down and we just gonna reseal it until I get it painted so everything in this car is original still I haven't took the steering wheel out I got a wood grain steering wheel but I'm getting an NRG kit that's gonna make this my wood grain detachable I need one of these and I'm thinking going billet instead of original factory I got an aftermarket deck in here, a hairstyle. Well, look at the interior. For what I got this car for, y'all wouldn't even believe. In-state car, Kentucky car, I just probably had to ride an hour outside of the city. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, the city, the big city. But yeah, like I said, this sway bar link, I mean the sway bar, then I got these beefy links that I haven't got installed because I had the other ones put on brand new, but these are extra. And this is the other part of the sway bar. So we still I still got parts to put on. Cause I'ma have to get another alignment after I got those inner or outer tie rods put on. Uh yeah, let y'all check out the back seat. Back seat immaculate. Like nobody never sat back here. I want to throw one of those third brake lights up in the mirror, headliner, immaculate. I need to change that bulb out, brand new. But, let's see what those front lights do. Uh, yep, they on. So I'm thinking those other ones are these, which, Yeah, that's it, cuz. See how I'm moving it? So let me turn that off. And I also got my other lights back working. I remember in the last video, I didn't have these on because these went out. I did have an alarm hooked up. So I'm thinking when they hooked the alarm up, it knocked these out. But when I took it back because they didn't do a good job, they had wires hanging from my speakers in the dash these came back on so i'm all the way good with all my lights now so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and change these side lights so all you all my new subscribers i'm gonna shout out to y'all thanks for rocking with your boy thanks for subscribing to the channel like i said i did a lot of these upgrades without recording so i figured i'd start recording again because the last video got a lot of people. Okay, that is it. About this seeds right here. The side ones. Right here. This now I, now that book I was telling y'all about, original parts group, they have these in here. These, which is the wrong one, because this side was hit. Now you see, all right, that's different from the other side, so I gotta get that, but I'm going to wait until I get it painted so everything can just match up. Like, the car drives are good. It's got like uh, 140K on it, maybe. Uh, but the motors are so tight. And like I said, 
is a dealership, so I have a lot of guys that love to help and don't mind helping with my bill. So I plan to get a new radiator, but this one's holding up. Replace my hoses here and there. But pretty much I got cold AC, good heat, everything. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this other side marker out which is right here all right got that one out so why i'm replacing these two I'm going to be right back. Alright, I'm back. New one in. Old bug got that black coloration around it. Yeah, set that one right there. And you can see this one has the same thing. So, even though they were still working, I wanted to replace all the bugs. That's just the kind of person I am. I want everything to be right. New one in. New one in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stick these back in here. Let me see if I can get that back in there. Uh, installing these are easy. You just want to stick it in until it turns and locks. I know y'all can't see it because it's way down in there. But it's in there. It's locked into place. So now I'm going to do this side over here. And I still haven't did my front lights yet. That's next. I still got to get bulbs. And I want to go um, maybe Silver Star or something that's brighter than what's in there. Alright, that one's in place. Come in all the way. Bright. Brand new bright. So we got new bulbs here, new bulbs here which we installed, so like I said, paint, paint is the last thing I'm worried about. We're working on this motor, we're getting everything tight under the hood that needs to be replaced, like not right now, but right now, you know what I'm saying? So one step at a time on this cutlass, like I said, we just swap these bulbs out, new bulbs working uh we replaced all the bulbs in the back these are brand new brand new brand new right here these are brand new everything's brand new on here so two people checking out check uh thank you for rocking with your boy on this channel i didn't want to make this video too long but like i said Thanks to all my new subscribers for rocking out with me, man. Just stay patient. Like I said, I work a full-time job, and I only can do uh, what I can do when it comes to this beer. Like, I want to thank God and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just, just stay down and keep grinding, man, and everything will fall in place. This is a, a dream build, you know what I'm saying? Having an old school, especially a G-Body. I wasn't really a G-Body fan. I was more of a box Chevy guy. But the box Chevys are so high now that it's hard to get one where you're not paying like 16, 20,000. So I got this for a great deal in my own state drove this thing an hour and maybe a half outside of Louisville, the city, back on dry rotted uh, shocks. And, uh, no, yeah, 
The shocks were busted and the tires were dry rotted. Let's see, I was just slowly piecing them together, one step at a time. One step at a time, one part at a time. Shout out to everybody rocking with your boy, man. But that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna finish cleaning it up because we got like one good day of some good weather. So I'm gonna drive it home tonight. And then probably gonna put it up because it's gonna rain for the rest of the weekend. But make sure y'all hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, check back with me, turn on that post phone notification, share the channel. The G body build is still in effect. I'm still under construction, but I'm clean right now. You know what I'm saying? I am a professional detail. I have buffed, did everything to this paint to bring it back out. You know what I'm saying? For right now, the, the paint is good for what it is. Once again, thanks for rocking with your boy. It's Bill Stunner 502. Checking out with another video, man. I'm gone. <laughs>